Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. France. Alert in Leavement Santiago title. Alert in Leavement. The search for Santiago, the vibrant streets of Paris bustled with life, but the air was heavy with an unshakable sense of urgency. Flyers displaying the innocent face of a young boy named Santiago, his big brown eyes twinkling with curiosity, had been plastered across cafes, schools, and metro stations. Just days ago, Santiago had vanished without a trace, and the city was under an alert in leavement. The French emergency alert system triggered to mobilize the public in the face of a child abduction. Among the crowds was Clara, a local journalist whose instincts tingled with the press of a breaking story. Santiago's disappearance struck a chord deep within her. She had a younger brother, Miguel, who shared the same age and spirit as the missing boy. The thought of a family engulfed in anguish gnawed at her heart. As she observed the near desperation etched on the faces of Santiago's parents, she resolved to uncover the truth behind this alarming event. Clara's investigation led her to Santiago's neighborhood, a patchwork of diverse cultures and tight-knit communities. She began interviewing locals, piecing together the timeline of events leading to Santiago's disappearance. Conversations flowed like the Seine River, filled with fragments of unsettling stories and whispers of shadows lurking in the alleys. One woman, an elderly neighbor named Madame Dupont, recounted how she had seen a suspicious van park near the playground the day Santiago was taken. It was odd, she said, her eyes darting. The driver seemed nervous, always looking over his shoulder. Clara's heart raced. Could there be a connection? As she spoke to more witnesses, a disturbing pattern emerged. Santiago had been known to spend his afternoons at the park, where his laughter echoed under the chestnut trees. There had been minor disturbances reported recently, troublesome youths making mischief, and a man who had been spotted watching children play. It all began to intertwine, painting a picture of a community at risk, tethered by hidden fears. Clara decided to delve deeper into Santiago's life. She learned that he was not just a missing child. He was a beacon of joy, known for his kindness and penchant for helping others. Yet beneath the surface lay concerns. Santiago's family, recent immigrants from South America, faced cultural challenges and vulnerabilities that left them exposed. One night, while poring over social media posts for clues, Clara stumbled upon a chilling message in a community group. Someone had spotted the same van near a known abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the city. The post was laced with fear and misinformation, but Clara was undeterred. She knew she had to follow this lead. As dawn broke, Clara made her way to the warehouse, her heart pounding in time with her footsteps. When she arrived, she found an eerie silence enveloping the place. The large, rusted doors creaked open, revealing a maze of darkness and crumbling walls. With each cautious step, the weight of Santiago's absence hung over her. Suddenly, a sound echoed through the corridor, a faint whimper. Clara's instincts kicked in, and she followed the noise, her mind racing with possibilities. She rounded a corner, and there he was, Santiago, scared but unharmed, sitting against the wall, his eyes wide with relief at the mere presence of someone. Behind him stood a figure, a man clad in dark clothing, his expression frozen in shock at being discovered. Clara's pulse quickened. With Santiago so close, she couldn't risk alerting the man. All she could do was think fast. She stepped forward, raising her voice with an unshakable confidence. Let him go, she demanded, the authority of her voice catching him off guard. You have no power here. Her boldness shocked the man, who hesitated just long enough for Clara to rush towards Santiago, enveloping him in her arms. The moment was brief, but electric. Just as the man lunged, Clara turned, pushing Santiago ahead of her as she yelled for help. The warehouse echoed with her cries. Within moments, the outside world burst into life. Sirens blared, and the police, alerted by the growing search efforts, flooded the scene. Officers swiftly apprehended the man, who fumbled under the sudden pressure. In the days that followed, the media lauded Clara's bravery, but she knew that the true heroes were the community members who rallied together, the strangers who cared, 
and the authorities who responded swiftly. Santiago was returned to his family, who embraced him tightly, their tears mixing with laughter. With the city alive with relief, Clara reflected on the intricate web of fear, devotion, and connection in a place like France. Santiago's story had awakened them all. It revealed not just the darkness lurking at the edges, but also the light united in love and hope. As she penned the last lines of her article, Clara smiled. This story would not just be about Santiago's abduction, but about the strength of a community willing to fight for one of their own. The power of voices unified, she thought, could never be underestimated. The alert was lifted, but the message remained clear. When it comes to protecting children and cherishing innocence, the heart of a city beats strongest when united.